Okay, today we will discuss about how to modify a lookup file using Splunk search queries. Okay, to do that, let me set up a samples lookup file, then I'll show you how to do that. Mm, so I I have created a demo CSV file. Uh, this CSV file contains the name of the city and the country it belongs to. So first, let us create the lookups. So to do that, I clicked on settings and then click on lookups. So to create a Splunk lookup, you need to follow two step process. One is first you have to create the lookup table files. Here in this lookup table files, click on add new. Select the destination app. Here I am selecting search app. Select the file world underscore cities. I will give the file name world underscore cities dot csv. Save. Okay. Now again go to lookups. <coughs> And you have to create the lookup definition now. Click on add new. Select the app, search, name, world, underscore, cities. Type should be file based. Select the lookup file name here. Okay. Let me see what's going on there. Lookup table files, search app, ball underscore cities. I'll change the permission to all apps and then I'll just give the full permission now for testing purpose. And now I am going to look up definition. I'll create a new lookup definition. I'll select the searcher from here world underscore cities file based world underscore cities dot csv. I'll click on save. Now, if I want to see whether lookup has been created successfully or not, I will go to my search app and I will run a search input lookup world underscore cities for all time. So, it has created my lookup successfully. Now, I will show you how to delete a row first then we will do we will see how to update a row. So, let us say I want to delete this particular row where city name is wells. Okay. So, I will say where name not equals to w e l s. Let us see so, this query is giving me 8 rows except the that city. Then I will run a command output lookup world underscore cities. So, what this commands do? It is basically it will basically take the this results and write it to the lookup. So, in this way what I am doing is basically I am first reading the lookup then then put it a condition so that my desired city has been removed from the search result. Then I am running this output lookup command to override the lookup files. So, if I run this search, okay, let us see whether my lookup file has been uh, already up updated or not. So, what I will do? I will create I'll another window, I will run the same search input lookup world underscore cities. Okay. 
see that particular row has been deleted from the lookup okay so now let's see how to update a row so to update a row what i'll do let, let's say i want to change this geo name id to 99999 so what i'll write here i'll write eval okay geo name id equals to so if my geo name id double equals to this guy okay then i'll change it to 9999999 otherwise i'll just keep it as it is so what this particular command will do so basically it will it for each and every geo name id it will check this condition whether this if this condition is matching then it will replace it with 999 otherwise it will keep as it is so let's see whether what is this command output okay if you see here for for Ulfsberg it replaced with uh, 99999 then I will follow the same approach I put look up world cities ok. So, now let us see whether my lookup has been updated or not. So, this was the previous content of the lookup I will run the search again. So, now if you see my lookup has been changed and if you if you go to your Splunk folder let I will show you there as well C program files Splunk etc apps search all the lookups are stored here in the lookup lookups directory and if I see this lookup see here it is persistent as well for that particular city it has been changed to 99999 and whatever whatever uh, city we have deleted from the lookup it is also deleted from the main file as well so this is how you update or delete or basically manipulate lookup files using 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 search queries there are some other sophisticated way as well to create a new UI and and uh, let the users do it as well. I will cover that in separate video. Thank you.